channel thank you so much for watching i hope you are all enjoying vlogmas 2017 today i'm going to be doing an not an eye makeup look a full face makeup look this is a full face christmas makeup look using drugstore products and the eyeshadow product that i have used today is this it's the chocolate bar from by the chocolate bar for my hat makeup but I have also got some glitter on there too but obviously I will talk you through everything that I'm wearing and you can join me in getting this little festive makeup look and yeah if you want to see how I got this look then just keep watching so I've primed my face with the Nivea primer the Express hydration one which is actually nearly running out now thank god I've had it for such a long time I'm gonna use the Avon true color flawless liquid foundation for my foundation. Mine is in the shade Ivory. So to conceal I am using my Lasting Perfection Collection Ultimate Wear Concealer. I'm using sponges for this by the way and they're all like drugstore sponges that I'm using um, I just can't 100% remember which ones they are but you all can use whatever you like to put on your makeup and then I'm using a Santi mineral compact powder just to set For my contour slash bronzer and blush today, I'm using the W7, the Cheeky Trio. I've used this before, I think, in a video, but I can't 100% remember. That's what I'm going to use today. Now, I'm not going to use the highlight out of that palette, so I've used the contour and the blush out of that palette. But I'm going to use the Lotta London Shimmer Squad. I've just got this, I have not used it yet, and I'm really excited to try it out. It looks so good. But, which one do I try? I feel like I should go with the white, because obviously that's just my jam. Let's go with the white one. God! That is insane. What the heck? Yes. Can you see? Oh, I hope that's coming off. You can, can't you? Look at that. That was literally one swipe. Wow, I'm well impressed with that. Try it again. Whoa. I have got two mirrors in front of me, by the way. One here and one there. Just so, like, if you're wondering why I keep looking in different directions that's why wow that's so cool i'm well happy with that i got this by the way from misguided but i think you can get it from superdrug i think you can get the lottie london products from superdrug or misguided i'm gonna go in with this shade here on my nose just so i can see what it's like oh i like that shade as well might put a bit of that on here as well I just love highlight you guys know what I'm like with my highlights literally just everywhere that white was ridiculously pigmented though and when I say ridiculous I'm like, I mean it in a good way <laughs> of course I'm gonna take the slightly darker one again and just put it there okay so what's next that's the face done I've got a lot of filming to do today so I'm going to spray my face now and I'm going to use the L'Oreal spray. It's the Infallible Fixing Mist and I do really like this spray. It's my favourite after the MAC. This is my favourite. I really like it. You have to give it such, such, such a good shake otherwise you end up with white dots all over your face so make sure you shake this thing. Go on. But yeah. 
Okay. And I really like the smell of it as well. I actually do really like this mist. I need to try out more mists. I've got, I've got an Avon one that I'm not too sure about. And I've got one of the Revolution ones that I feel makes me get a little bit greasy after an hour or so. I need to do proper tests. But I need to do proper tests on them really, to be fair. Right, eyebrows, I'm gonna use, you guessed it, my Aldi Lacura eyebrow pencil. I love this little guy, it's really running out now. They're like, it's not gonna be long till it's all gone. Then what am I gonna do? Now for eyes, I've decided to go with the good old I Heart Makeup Golden Bar. This is just the regular Golden Bar one. This is what it looks like inside. It's very pretty. And I'm also going to use, I think, a little bit of this Hard Candy Gold Glitter just because I feel like we should be a bit glittery for Christmas, so... And Hard Candy is, as far as I know, a drugstore, obviously. It's not really that readily available in the UK, so I'm not 100%, but I'm, I'm sure it's pretty cheap stuff. And this smells a little bit like chocolate too. <laughs> family issues, guys, family issues. So, um, for, these are all quite shimmery, none of these are that. <gasps> oh, I like that one, but we're not gonna go with reds today because I did that in my last one. And yeah, I'm gonna go with, or I could, oh, I don't know now. I had a plan, and now it seems to have gone awry. The plan was this shade here, but I feel like this is more, I just don't want it to end up looking like the one that I've just done, <laughs> which it will do. How green is this? Why did I swatch it there? Why did I just do that? Like, that was weird. Um, it's not that greeny, is it? Oh no, I'm gonna use the red, it's a really nice shimmer red. Okay, so instead of the green, we're gonna go with the red. But I will use, to start off with, for the transition-y type shade, this one here. This one on the end. It's not really gonna be that transition-y because it's a shimmery, bronzy colour, but we'll go with it. These are all really nice and shimmery, guys. Oh, I really like that. Can you see that, guys? Oh, that's pretty. This shade here, guys, you need to check this out. I feel like I really don't want to cover this up now. Right, I'm now gonna go in with that red shade. Well, it's kind of like a burgundy red. Like, it's not exactly red red, but it's nice and shimmery. I'm gonna not take it too far up because I do really, actually, let me just take this gold one even further up. This like bronzy one, because I just really like it and I don't want to just cover it with a red completely, so. Right, let's go in with that red. Firstly, in the crease. Oh, in the crease. I must have used this before. That is so nice. I really like that. Just hope that the gold with the shimmer and the sparkles works on top. Well, works with it. Oh, that's going to have to go under the eye, but I think I might need to use a smaller brush for that. So that's that so far. And then for the gold, let me just do a swatch to see which ones are going to be best. So we've got that one. And that one. Right, okay. Yeah. 
I'm glad I did that because I was going to choose the wrong one. So this one down here, in my opinion, is a little bit more bronzy. And then this one's more gold. So I'm going to go with the top one, which is this one here. This one right here. It's definitely more gold rather than bronze. It just doesn't look as pigmented in the pan. Oh, but it is. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, over there. I do love me some gold. I'm not even sure what I'm going to do with the glitter. I'm thinking just putting a little bit on the, the middle of the lid. Under the eye. Just a bit of meal. I'm then thinking this one here for my brow bone. But I am aware of the fact that that shade is really quite contrasty to what we've got on. But hey ho. Oh wow. It's actually really pigmented. What the heck? I've not used this palette for such a long time. It's a little bit more silver than probably you would normally use with this kind of look, but. I do not follow any rules, ever. So there we go. And it matches the highlight on my um, trick bond hole. <laughs> so that's it for that. I think that's blended quite nicely. You could, if you wanted, just leave this here, guys. Like, you totally could. I am going to, I think I've smoked it out enough underneath the eye as well. I don't want to go too heavy under the eye. So I'm going to go now in with this Hard Candy Glitter. This is in the shade 002 Vegas, baby. And I'm going to use this Fix Gel. I'm, and I'm going to use this Fix Gel to apply it with. I got this from eBay with like some loose glitter. So, yeah, wow, look how pigmented they are on my hand. That is insane. That is really insane. I don't even want to swipe them off. Oh my god, it looks so nice. Right. Um, okay, here it goes. Okay, glitter is everywhere now, guys. I'm not going to be able to get it off my face. Just a quick word of warning for my beautiful YouTube subscribers. If you don't want this on your face, then you're going to want to cover your face before you do this because it ain't going to come off. But I'm not really that bothered. To be fair, some of it's wiped off. But... I'm not sure if you can see, there is definitely lots of glitter still on my face right now. So I'm going to go and add some eyelashes and some maybe some liner. Yeah, probably some liner and then I will be right back. The lighting outside is so bad. I do have like um, my ring light on as well, but the lighting outside is not good, guys. Not going there. So I've got my lashes on. I've just got my regular Kira lashes and... Kiko eyeliner on. It was just easy for me to do it off camera, and the lash, the um, the wings have gone horrendously horrible. And yeah, you guys, I'm sure would do a much much better job yourself. But we're, we're we're all good. We're all good. So the last thing I need to do is my lips. I'm gonna use the Mark by Avon lipstick in Love Bite. I absolutely love these. It's the liquid lip ones. It's the liquid lip ones, and this is a shine. Oh, I love them. I feel like I'm in shock for so much more now that I've got this new lens. And that is it. And yes, this is the finished. Look, I'm going to spray this one more time. I really like this glitter. I don't know how long it's going to last. It 
kind of has like like in this you can't tell at all but on my eyes unless it's just the, the eyeshadow that I've got on it really looks like there's like little orangey type red kind of sparkles in it too but I'm not sure if that could be the eyeshadow that I've got on underneath so don't quote me on that one guys okay love it and that's it that is the finished look so if you enjoyed this video guys thank you so much for watching what did that make any sense thank you so much for watching guys and if you enjoyed this video then please give me a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe and make sure you hit the little ding -a -ling, -a ling bell little thing next to the subscribe thing because then you might get notified of the odd video here and there and i hope you all have a wonderful wonderful christmas and i'll see you in the next video bye